Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. This is going to be for the end of March going into April. Um, so we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with, what you could expect, um, what you need to know for the end of the month. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust this real quick. Um, and then we'll take a look at the person to see what their current overall energies are towards you, what their true feelings and intentions are, and then we'll finish off the read with what the possible outcome and advice are. So before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscription button and, no and the notification bell so that you guys could get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. And um, if you could give this uh, video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message could circulate around for people that need to hear this, and leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated with you. Um, and if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, um, the, link is in, the link is in the description box below. So let's get started here, Pisces. Overall energy for Pisces regarding love and the person that they're connecting with. What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces expect for the end of the month? Overall energies for Pisces regarding love and the person that they're connecting with. What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces expect for the end of the month? End of March going into April. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces Energy, the Empress, Taurus, Libra Energy, this one's first, and High Priestess, Empress, and the Magician, Virgo Gemini Energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, the Ten of Wands, Sag energy, and the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. Oh wow, look at that. So you have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you want to have a new beginning with this individual here. I feel like you're seeing potential growth with this individual. I feel like you perhaps manifested this. But I feel like there is a burden that you need to drop here, but let's get some more messages just to see here, uh, Pisces. Tell me about this uh, High Priestess. Empress, you know, the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this magician. You have the Three of Wands. Okay, so I'm seeing planning here. I'm seeing looking towards the future, you know, working together, collaborating together. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. You have the Devil, Capricorn energy. So I feel like that's what needs to be released here. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Five of Pentacles. So someone is in this energy of just, you know, having negative thoughts, you know? Maybe there's like these thoughts, geez, these thoughts of like maybe not feeling not good enough, uh, feeling that maybe you have nothing to give. You have the Five of Swords here. Yeah. 
501. So there is a lot of like changes and conflicts within you, I feel, um, Pisces. So I so I'm seeing the the probably here is that you're seeing this union, you're seeing this possible love connection with an empress, and you want to work together with this empress to, um, you know, build this relationship together. You know, I I don't I don't think this is intuition. I feel like you're not following your intuition, but I feel like. I feel like you might, you're scared to start this, so you're ending it before it starts. Um, yeah, I feel like you manifested this, but I just feel like there are some burdens here that you need to release. Those burdens that I just mentioned just now. You have the two of, not the two, you have the high priestess, the world, uh, the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. You know, the third party is probably these burdens that you need to release, these uh, limiting um, views that you have on yourself. It's so similar to the past three reads for you, um, Pisces. All right, um, Magician, Three of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Devil. You have the Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Five of Swords. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm feeling that you just you just don't feel good enough, or that you have nothing to give, or something like that, and you just have these limiting views for yourself, you know, just having these negative thoughts. Um, so, let's see. Let's take a look at your person. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their current overall energies towards Pisces? What are their true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces uh, expect from this person for the end of March going into April? Over energies um, for the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their current true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? What can Pisces expect? What does Pisces need to know for the end of March going into April? All right, we have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups. You have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Did something flip over here? Oh, no. Chariot, Cancer energy. Two of swords on the bottom of the deck here. So Pisces, what I'm getting for your person is I feel like this person doesn't know what to do. I think there's some sort of disappointment here. Disappointment that maybe these allu the, these illusions or these opportunities that were talked about was just not is not coming together. Um Let's see, let's get some more messages here. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. What is going on with this Five of Pentacles here? Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. This person doesn't know what to do. They're getting the two, the two of swords and the five of, pen, uh, five of cups here. 
Wow, did I say five of pentacles? It's a five of cups, sorry. Tell me about the six, seven of cups. You have a star, Aquarius energy. What's going on with this ace of cups? You have strength here, Leo energy. What's going on with this king, uh, knight of cups? You have the moon here. This connection here is quite, quite messy. Because you have this other person that is, perhaps this person has secrets or that they view you that you have secrets here. Um, because, let's see, tell me about the chariot. You have the page of swords. Tell me about the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups. Justice. So we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I, I feel like this person sees, has the idea or sees the opportunity that this could be a Ten of Cups energy marriage, having kids together, having a family. But I feel like this person's a bit disappointed because whoever is having these li limiting beliefs here is actually making this person here second guess that this, this connection could come together. Because it seems like, you know, one person manifested this. One person is like was seeing the potential, like looking towards the future. But at the same time, the, this this um, double energy here, I mean, I mean, this Queen of Cups could be emotionally manipulative. manipulative. This person could have a lot of insecurities. I feel like this person just knows that they don't have anything to give. And then you have this person here. This person's disappointed. They feel like they don't know what to do. It seems as though this person could have promised this person basically the universe. And And I feel like this person wants this new beginning here. Uh, they, they want this opportunity to work towards a commitment. But this person has secrets. This person doesn't really know how to, how to communicate well, I feel. This person could have childhood wounds. They could have been abused emotionally abused, verbally abused, but I just feel like this individual has trouble communicating. Communicating what they want or communicating how they feel. Maybe this person isn't even aware of this person's, you know, burdens that they carry. You two could be at a distance from each other, too. So take it as it resonates, Pisces. You have the Two of Swords, the Five of Cups, Seven of Cups being clarified by the Star. You have the Ace of Pentacles being clarified by Strength. The Knight of Cups being clarified by the uh, Moon card. You know, I feel like this person might have a lot of emotions towards this Queen. You know, I feel as though this Empress could be a third party. A third party where perhaps this Empress was with this Knight here. And this Knight could have dipped out on this Empress to be with this Queen. You know... 
I mean, this empress might not even have any idea this is going on. So that's a story, another story of the line that I'm throwing out there. So like I said, these are general messages. So take it as it resonates. And also the roles could be flip-flopped and reversed here. Um, you have the chariot being clarified of the page of swords, the queen, uh, page of uh, wands being clarified by the ace of swords. So I, I, I feel like someone's having trouble communicating. I don't know if it's this person here that's having tr trouble communicating. I feel both of these have trouble communicating. Yeah. All right, let's see. Tell me about the possible outcome and advice here for Pisces regarding their love situation. What does Pisces need to know about their uh, love situation here for the end of March going into April? What can Pisces expect? What can Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Possible outcome and advice here for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces expect? For the end of March going into April. All right, Pisces, let's see here. The strength card, Leo energy, Seven of Cups again, Ace of Pentacles again, King of Cups. Okay, so there is a pair on the board here. You have that King of Cups to the Queen of Cups here. Let's go on. Uh, tell me about this. All right. Continuing. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups again, and then you have Judgment, Sagittarius energy. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like, I don't know if you guys are apart, but if you guys are apart, there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here. Oh. I feel like someone's trying really hard. Oh my god, I can't pick this up. Oh, sorry, I can't pick it up. All right. Um, I feel like someone's trying really hard not to walk away from this even though someone does with the world card here. All right, what's going on with the Seven of Cups? You have the Page of Pentacles. What's going on with this Ace of Pentacles? You have the King of Swords. I feel like someone is honest and true about what they want here is to have this opportunity for a, new, for a new beginning with someone. What's going on with this King of Cups? You have the Knight of Swords. I do feel like someone wants to rush in. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Cups. You have the Star. What's going on with Judgment? And then you have the Tower. You know, I feel like someone's pushing this away. And I feel like it's this queen. Yeah, someone's pushing this love away. So, like I said, someone has limiting beliefs about themselves here. They're, it's a bit of a mind game with this person. They play mind games on themselves. But I feel like this king wants this new opportunity. I feel like this per person wants to rush in to sort of tell this queen, tell this queen that they see them as the one, but I don't think this reconciliation is gonna go well. I feel like it's gonna come crashing down. Yeah, I feel like this king is trying their hardest not to walk away from this. They're trying their hardest to be patient with this person, um, but I just feel like this is like wishful thinking. You know, I feel like this king here knows exactly what's going on. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like it's this this king probably knows that it's not really gonna go anywhere. Um but this king wants it. This king is gonna give this a try. Now, the ace of pentacles being clarified by the king of swords, the king of cups being clarified by the nine of wands, knight of wands, and then you have the knight of cups being clarified by the star and the judgment being clarified by the tower. Um, I just feel like if there's a reconciliation here, it's just not going to go well. Like I said, because someone's pushing this away. And someone's in this energy of like wishful thinking, you know? Someone knows that this is not going to work, but they're still going to try anyway. So uh, Pisces, this was your general love reading for the end of March going into April. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the, ne in the next one. Thanks.